This is Erdizzle back with back-to-back -back daily tournaments for the first time in quite a long time. So my bag for this round's a little bit different than usual. So I've got my accurate windbreak fuse, my accurate windbreak musket, so I'm not throwing the river this particular round. I've got the accurate glide musket, the wind glide ballista, which I only use on the first hole. And then the light glide ballista and the skip glide ballista, which I think works a little better on a couple of the holes. And so this particular daily tournament, I actually shot a 15 under earlier in the night. And I decided to maybe try to do a little bit better and was able to ace this first one, which I did not do the last round. And what you're seeing right now is the only ace I got on that hole. And this is the only run I did. And basically I wanted to ace that first hole and then just see what happens. And if I didn't get any better than a 15 under on this round, I was going to quit for the night. And so hole two, I'm just trying to play it out to that rock and give myself either a forehand, preferably a forehand to the right of that tree, but I don't mind a backhand to the left of it. And so if I would have missed that shot right there, I was going to quit. Because I just, I wasn't going to grind this to try to get a 16 under so i knew when i got that i was in pretty good shape hole five is really the only one that's giving me any issues and so i felt pretty good about this one i love the forehand play on this hole it just it fits the fairway perfectly and if you get it anywhere out in the middle there it's easy just to throw a musket throw it forehand get it high to get it up over these trees and just let it crash down and i think the mistake some people make is they try to get it right by the hole you don't need to get it right by the hole just get it within 30 40 feet give yourself an easy putt so that's a good pro tip is don't always try to make the shot sometimes the smarter shot is just to give yourself a nice clean look at a putt all right, so we switch over to Oak Hill, and this is one of the reasons I've got the glide skip in the bag, just for this particular hole. The The light skip works pretty well, but I just, I feel the, the glide skip is more consistent on this particular hole. I mean, anytime you can get up here on the top of the hill and get a putt, I mean, you know you're doing something right. And so it leads us into hole five, and hole five, honestly, when I shot the 15 under earlier in the night, was the only hole I was really messing up. Like, I feel pretty confident that if I can hit this one and get an eagle, that I can pretty much finish out the 16 under. And so with a three wind, a little inconsistent, I'm going with the, the light glide, and my, my whole goal is to leave it out to the right and just let it come back, and that one just turned way, 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 way too much. And I got extremely fortunate that it was able to at least stay up there. And even here with the three wind, I almost missed that one too high. I mean, that high on the change is about 50-50, kicking back out. And then a hole six here, I'm. some people will lay up. I'm absolutely going for an ace run on this with my with my musket. And I knew as soon as I let it go, it was not going to ace. But that, that's one where you just, you got to run it. I had to ace the first five. I mean, if I ace that one, I know I've got a 17 under. And so here, 59 feet, most people will throw that in. I will putt it. Anything inside 60, unless it's some crazy elevation, I will most definitely putt it. And so shifting over to hole 7, 8, 9, I, I pretty much I'll be very upset if I don't get uh, birdie, eagle, eagle on these. I mean, this is just a pretty, pretty easy way to finish a round. So just first one there, play the skip off the wall. That's another reason I like the, the skip disc. Um, pretty much any skip disc on that hole. And then hole eight, I could throw a recoil and just slam it in there for for an eagle or my ballista, but I'm actually trying to get it close. And in the air, I thought it had a shot and it just banged off the top. I mean, that would have been a fantastic albatross to get. Uh, settling for the eagle, which anytime you can settle for an eagle, that's a, that's a nice way to end a round almost. And then this, again, hole nine, this is pretty standard stuff. Just throw a forehand musket. Usually I'll throw my recoil on this one, but since I got the musket in the bag for this, just make sure you don't hit that tree right there and settle up anywhere up there within 50, 60 feet. And so that's 58 feet within putting range. So that is pretty standard stuff. Not going to miss that. And so, yeah, just trying to ace run that first hole and just see what happens. And I was lucky to go through with one clean run after grinding that hole one ace and Tied for first with the 16 under. Um, I, I can possibly see a 17 under, maybe somebody grinding for 
another eagle in there or the ace on that whole eight but pretty happy with an 18 under so hope you guys enjoyed uh back-to-back -back daily tournaments with urdizzle